is going on guys my name is Dylan and today I am back with another DaVinci Resolve tutorial in today's video I'm gonna be showing you guys how to do the Kriya Tyler boomerang glitch effect Kriya Tyler uses this in a lot of his old videos but there's also a lot of creators that are really using this effect right now it's super popular and today I'm gonna to show you guys how to do it in Resolve Alright guys, once you have DaVinci opened up, I just have a drone shot on here. Uh, you can do this with actually a, a variety of shots that have movement in it. But yeah, basically I'm just going to do it with this drone shot. So basically, this is going a little bit too slow. So I'm just going to right click on this, change clip speed, and I'm going to make this to about 400. And then I'm going to go to the part that I want to use. So I think about the beginning actually looks pretty good for this one. And then I'm just going to go about one, two, three, four, five frames. You guys can do more than that. You guys can do less than that if you guys want to. But I'm just going to do about five for this one. We can delete that. And then we just have this short little clip. And then basically I'm going to hold option, drag up, alt if you are on PC, which creates a duplicate. I'm going to right click on the dupl duplicate, go over to change clip speed and go to reverse speed. So then basically we have a little boomerang right here. It's just a short little boomerang. And basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight both of these, right click, new compound clip, just because it'll make it a little bit easier to work with. So now we have a compound clip. So I'm just going to duplicate this a bunch of times by holding option or alt and dragging up. And I'm about to just do this like five times. So then we have a smooth boomerang um, if this will play back but basically um, now we need to add the artificial movement in here and how we're gonna do that is we're gonna go up to the effects library under effects and we're just gonna add an adjustment clip on top of all of this and I'm just gonna cut that and then basically what we're gonna do is we're, from the start I'm gonna make a keyframe uh, for the zoom at one and then at the end I'm going to just zoom this in to about, I think 1.5 looks pretty good. And that is basically all there is to this glitchy little boomerang. Um, I'll run to this and here's the final product right here. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed this video, then make sure to leave it a thumbs up and to subscribe to my channel. If you guys have any questions or any videos that you want me to cover in the future, then definitely drop a comment down below. Until next time, guys, peace out.